Hello everyone, Mixfit Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're back here in Mech Arena, and we're going to talk about a couple of things. I'm going to play a game while I talk about one specific topic. Uh, I know the last video or two have been a little bit lengthy, so we're going to try to keep this one nice, clear, and concise. But the uh, first thing I want to touch on is the specialization spree that happened this morning. Uh, I'm not a fan of these type of sprees where uh, it's very specific as to the weapon you need to use. I understand bots, you know, they have to be specific, but I would much, much rather see these, any weapon specialization spree be a category of weapons. So in this case, it was a missile rack sixes, and depending on where you are in the game, what division, and if you have it leveled up or not, this can be easy, it can be extremely difficult. And for me, it was extremely difficult. I probably uh, had about five or six games in a row where I didn't even get a single kill with the Missile Rack 6s. Mine are not very well leveled up, and I'm in Division 1. I'm going against uh, maxed out players or high-level AIs, and it just it was really hard for me to start getting some kills. Uh, after about 30 games or so, I, I got the 25 kills I needed, so I was probably averaging a little bit under than one kill a game. Uh, the other flip side of that is, as well, I'm used to the Missile Rack 8s, it's, its fire rate is different than Missile Rack 6s. The 6s fire a little bit slower uh, volleys. And so you have to kind of adjust your aim. And it took me several games before I got used to kind of the aiming mechanism of it. But for in our last specialization spree, it was the Carbine 8s. Uh, why couldn't it just be uh, completely all Carbines? Carbine 8, 10s, and 12s. This one, why couldn't it be just a straight combination of Missile Rack 6s or 8s? That's what I would like to see in the future, and I'm going to probably suggest that to our contact at Polarium, that any weapon specialization sprees, I, I think would be much more advantageous to have it as the category of the specific weapon, not just the individual weapon with its power level. With, but that being said, I'm going to ho hopefully finish this one off. I need one more win using the Missile Rack 6s. Uh, one thing, the other thing I want to talk about, and we're going to talk about as I go into match here. Uh, I need a win. You know what? Let's try and just do 2v2. Uh, hopefully, I can make up any uh, deficiencies I have with uh, AI teammates. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is this morning, I saw a notice on the Mecarina Discord server that they have been testing out a new matchmaking algorithm. Now, apparently it's not open for everybody. They're only doing like a subset of players. It's on the live server. So I'm curious as to what players out there, have you been experiencing differences with matchmaking? I've heard some people really happy about it. They're getting a lot more players. Me personally, I, I spent a lot of time today playing this game and I've been streaming game mostly AIs. And so I haven't noticed any change whatsoever on my end. So I am kind of assuming that I am not in the pool for the matchmaking changes. But if you have been noticing a difference in matchmaking, then it's probably has to do with that. There, I don't really care if I died. It's that's my kill shot with Miss Rack Sixes. I just had to use it once. I want to get out of here, get into my sniper build, and hopefully finish this off. But yeah, I'm curious if you've uh, experienced any differences with the the AI. Uh, or at least the matchmaking anyway, it's not necessarily the AI. Uh, I, like I said, I have not been facing uh, tougher challenges or real players or anything along those lines. And if I did, I haven't really noticed much difference in, like power levels or anything like that. So uh, I am curious uh, what out there, if you have experienced it, what your thoughts are on it. Has it been good? Has it been bad? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I really am uh, curious. It's, it's nice to see that Plarium is starting to uh, hopefully take this seriously. Uh, in the past, uh, any changes that they have been doing tweaks to the matchmaking really hasn't been voiced at all. And a lot of people just kind of are under assumption if things aren't quite acting as normal that Plarium has made some changes. But this time they've actually officially, officially come out and said they have been tweaking the algorithm, at least as of today. I know I, I think I saw at least one of the, the, pro, the program partners uh, mention on the, the Discord server that uh, he's been experiencing a lot more real players in the game 
and uh, he's really happy with it. So now that's being said, real players, I don't know what those power levels are, but anyways, it is something that I am looking forward to if I can actually you know, concentrate and talk at the same time that is. Oh, I should put put up my barrier. Um, okay, you didn't die? Fine, die there now. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me know. Now with that being said, let's get back into the game here and concentrate a little bit more. Uh, talking and playing is not always the most easiest thing in the world. Alright, so let's just go over here. Let's hug this area. I don't know what that is over there. Let's see here. So he's just hovering right there. I can't get a shot on him. But if I go down, he'll be able to shoot me before I can shoot him. Just because of the angle he's got. And it's a redox. I've been seeing a lot more redoxes lately too. I don't know if it's an AI thing and they've, they've tweaked the uh, the bots and stuff. But I'm seeing uh, a lot of redox uh, Carbine 12 uh, AIs right now. Alright, so we're doing okay here. We're up to one. We have something else come in here and it's a Zephyr looks like. I'm trying to make sure I stay out of his range. Okay, so he just uses his ability. Okay, take him out there. And there's... Mostly Aries out there are running the Stasis Beam Thermal Lance combination. Okay, I can't hit him on that direction. Uh, there's another... Looks like... Oh, no, it's a uh, Surge. Take him out. Hit him around the corner. Come on, I'm trying to hit my button. There we go. I think I need to change my button layout a little bit because I keep missing my individual shots. Put that up there. Oh, that was a waste of a shot there. I didn't realize the surge was going to take him out there. We're doing good though. We only have 20 seconds left. Um, Surge, are you actually going to go in at him or not? There we go. Okay, if you get out of my way, I can shoot him. Alright, so let's try to hit this shadow. Oh, I hit him once. Uh, come on. Oh, I want... I, I just, uh, I wanted that last shot, but I couldn't get it. Anyway, so MVP, not bad. And uh, that, hopefully that should have gotten me my task. So let's just look at the tail of tapes here, hop out, and we'll close off the video. There we go. There's that win. All right, I tell you, that was a that was a grind today to do this one. Yes, I, I could have gone and ranked up my Rissarak 6, six because uh, it actually is ready to be ranked up. But I'm not going to spend... What, how much is it actually to rank it up? So let's go here... Let's see what it is. Yeah, so why would I spend 1,800 A coins just to get 300 back? That just doesn't make any sense. So that's the reason why I, I grinded uh, the other tasks, just to get the 25 wins in a row. Well, not in a row. The 25 wins using Mr. Rack 6s wasn't, you know, it, it just took a long time. But uh, anyways, what I really am curious about is your thoughts on the matchmaking. Have you experienced any changes? And if so... Are they good? Are they bad? Positive, negatives? Please let me know. I, I, I'm, I really am curious and I would like to kind of have an idea what's happening with the game and keep my pulse on it so that when, if and when this change does go live, I kind of know what to expect. Because right now, as you can see, at least in that game, I, I was getting all AIs and that's been pretty much my day for the entire day is I think I had maybe two games out of the 30 plus that I played. They even had a, a real player in them. So uh, I'm not sure if maybe they tweaked mine and I was actually affected negatively and I'm just getting absolutely no matches, but uh, I, I'm hearing a lot of other things from the opposite. So I, I really do think that I'm just not included in the, in the testing pool for the matchmaking. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing until next time. Cause some aim in the field for me.